Hello and welcome to AITPM News. At the AITPM National Conference in 2017, Paul Froggart from GTA presented an excellent paper on the preparation of a safe and active routes to school kit in Darwin. There is no clearer example of how traffic and transport planning is embracing the whole of life approach than in the list of stakeholders, which included the Heart Foundation, Family and Children's Services and Community and Cultural Management. It wasn't just a simple compilation of the latest best practice. His work also looked at identifying the barriers. Catchment toolkit, basically making sure you know where your students live, what your existing opportunities are, how your school entrances work, where have you got your parking, is that good or bad in relation to your pedestrian routes, and then identifying your local barriers. So that may be some physical barriers, it may also be identifying the perceived barriers within your school, maybe social, maybe cultural. There's all sorts of reasons of, of barriers that can come out if you, until you, or you, that you don't know until you start asking the questions. Some of the other risk factors as well, that you know, stranger danger is inevitably the one that comes up. And first of all, it's no bigger problem than it is today. Uh, sorry, no bigger problem today than it was 30 or 40 years ago. And secondly, it's not your strangers that are actually the problem, it's people that the students already know. Um, that date is a little bit old, but... That basically shows that if something's going to happen to a student, it's likely to be by a parent or somebody else that they know. Um, but compared to the risk of that sort of incident, one in three risk of having some sort of um, illness or disease that's related to lack of physical activity during their life. AITPM members and conference delegates can get a copy of the paper by going to our website. We will touch on some other issues from Paul's paper in video news and in our newsletter.